he got about six cha chapters in, and he said, why, why do you keep talking about Maud? And I said, because the book is about Maud. And the reason that I chose to tell the story from Maud's point of view, not from Frank's point of view, was a, a couple of different things. When I researched the story, when I started to look into it, it was so abundantly clear to me that the story of The Wizard of Oz never would have occurred to Frank had it not been for the life that he led with his wife. And Maud Gage Baum was not a typical woman of the 19th century in any way, shape, or form. She was the daughter of one of the most outspoken advocates for women in the late 19th century, Matilda Jocelyn Gage. She's not as well known today as Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Susan B. Anthony, but she was best friends with both of those women and absolutely in every way their peer. In fact, uh, many of them thought that Matilda Jocelyn Gage was the most brilliant of the three of them. And she raised her daughter Maud to be independent, to be fearless, and to really be um, different from most other women of her time. So different, in fact, that sometimes Maud had trouble figuring out how to fit in with other women. And the thing that really struck me about Maud was that uh, really when you think about the character of Dorothy, what inspires you about her is that she was full of courage. Dorothy was the one who would go straight up to the, to the, to the lion and shake her fist at him and call him a coward. And she was brave. And when you read the Wizard of Oz books, in particular, you really see this kind of subversive belief in women's equality that was well, well before its time. Uh, that it's surprising to read it, surprising because it seems so modern. And so to me, Maud was the missing link, that it was really, I felt that it was Maud and what Maud brought to their family and what Maud brought to Frank's point of view that was the key to unlock the story of The Wizard of Oz.